Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you one of my collections, although it being a small collection, uh, still collection, uh, Zippo lighters. Uh, unfortunately, I am a smoker. Uh, I've always used a Zippo, and here about six, eight months ago, I found a couple Zippos, and, uh, well, no, it's been longer than that. But I found some Zippos in the, at a pawn shop, and I've done some trading for them. And uh, I've since then bought a couple more offline, off auctions and stuff like that. And uh, I actually had a Zippo uh, gifted to me by my family that's a special made one. And I'll show you that uh, towards the end of the video. And it's really, really cool. Uh, it's very personalized, very, uh, very cool. You guys, I think you guys will like it. Anyway, nobody knows. These are the way the Zippos used to come in, the older boxes. And these are the way the Zippos come in now. I actually showed a box like this. I showed this much of the box and asked if anybody knew what it was. And a couple of you got it. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, this is it. Uh, I guess we will start, we'll start with the new ones. This is a 2021 bonsai tree in street chrome, what they call street chrome. I don't know why they call it street chrome. It's more of a satin finish than anything. Uh, like I said, it's a 2021. As you can see, still in the package, never been used. You can get these at Walmart for $15. It's the bottom of the line Zippos. Uh, but yeah, a lot of them have... Uh, some of them have designs on them, and some of them are just a plain color. <clears throat> the red ones are more rare to find at like Walmart. The white ones, you rarely, rarely ever find a white one at Walmart, and I still haven't found a white one. Uh, I've seen a red one, but I didn't pick it up. But uh, I did get a couple more that I'll show you. So this one's pretty cool. This is, a, like I said, it's the bottom of the line model Zippo. Still made in America. Made in uh, Philadelphia, I do believe. Well, let's see. Yep, Bradford, PA. Made in the USA. Here is a 2020... You see that across the top? We the people. American flag on a skull. It's street chrome with a black painted surface on it with the, the uh, design on it. Very cool. Last of the ones that are uh, from Walmart is the Sugar Skull. I really like this one. This one's pretty cool. Uh, I seen it and I just like, yep, that's the one I'm getting today. That's that one. Now, the Last 2020, 2021 model I have is a black, flat black. This one has been used. I used this one for a while. And there's one of them little gnats. They've told me not to leave my windows open, but I leave the window open in my man cave. And for some reason, some, well, somehow, they're getting through the screen. And coming in on me. But, uh, yeah. 2021. Still.
still have the case, the the paper, and the the seal that comes on the back of the lighter. You'll see here in a little bit. Whenever it's new, it'll have this seal on it, and uh, it uh, yeah. So I keep the packaging and the stuff for them. I like this one because of the brass color it's a brass case and you I don't know if you'd be able to see that or not but the paint is missing and you can see the like if you see my finger rubbing it there's a there's a place where the paint's missing and it spells out Zippo just like on the bottom and you can see here the date code B 2021. Bradford, PA, made in the USA. Now these have date codes on the bottom, and it's you'll see here in a little bit. It's different than normal. Just like it's more than just numbers. I'll show you this one. This one is a, watch me not be able to get it out. Okay, need something to get it out with. What am I going to use? I will use a pencil. I don't like touching this one because as you can see, it already put a fingerprint on it. This one's sealed, never been used, and that print didn't come off. It's a pinkish purple color with a high gloss mirror-like finish on it. It is a 2008, you can see that there, it's hard to see. Now that little gnat is driving me crazy. Let's see how I was talking about the seal. Never been opened. Alrighty. That's that one. And this is the box that this one comes in. This is not a Walmart brand. This is an order from Zippo or get from a secondhand dealer for Zippo. Uh, let's see, which one to show, I'll show this one, this is a 2016 model, you see the 16 there, maybe, yep, this is street chrome. This one also has never been used. Gosh, if I can hold on to something. Just plain street chrome. I don't know why they call it street chrome. It looks more like a brushed stainless look to me. Oh, I'm going to go back to one here for a second. I'm fascinated with the, I don't know whether you want to call it patina or uh, character. See that little ding? That got that in Cincinnati, Ohio. I dropped it. See that one right there? That happened in Charleston, West Virginia. I dropped it. Same thing with that one, Charleston. I, uh, oh, where in the world did that one go? Oh, okay, that's something off of it. I going to say, where in the world did that one come from? But I know where the dings and stuff come from on the newer ones, but the old ones, I'm fascinated with the, that what would be the stories behind them. You know what I mean? I, uh, 
I'd love to know where the uh, where the dents happen, where the dings happen, where the scratches happen. What was what was going on with the lighter whenever it uh, whenever it happened? Okay, this one, the next one up is a what year is it? It's an 03, 2003. This is a Marlboro. Marlboro. Marlboro? Marlboro. Cigarettes. Marlboro. Uh, Storm. Storming Scroll. I think is what it's called. This actually has the thing glued onto the front of it. Or attached somehow. And it's got like scroll work on the front of it. This one has been used. I used this one for a while. Those of you that have never seen a Zippo, I'll uh, I'll show you the inner workings of it. These also have a date code back to a certain year. And then before that year, they didn't have date codes on them. Like this is G03. So you can see that there. For best results, you use Zippo Flints and Fluid. This here, you take this out. You unscrew it. Pull it out. There's a spring. And that's where you put your flint at. That's what makes your spark. Your spark. This, you, this hole is for an extra flint. I'll show you what the flints look like, if I can find them. They come in a thing like this. And you can see the individual flints in there. You go like this. You load up a flint. You turn the wheel. And you dispense it. I think that's kind of cool. And the zipper fluid comes in a container like this. Or bigger. They make a bigger can of this too. Uh, but what you do is you peel up the corner. Of this felt. And then you have a cotton wadding on the inside. And there's where you f feed the fuel. But when you're refueling, make sure that's up because it's actually down in there and you can see it moving there. It actually turns on and off the fuel to the wick. So when it's open, it'll be open. When it's closed, that's what actually makes that clicking noise, is when that little arm clicks shut. And you can see the date code on this one is from 2003. The back of it is just street chrome. And that's that one. This is a, like I said, this is a Marlboro uh, incentive or something like that, or I can't remember what it was. It's a, but it's a pretty cool lighter. Uh, let's see here. What one now? Already showed that one. Okay. This one. Oh, this one is a 1984. Now, this is where the codes get different. The further back you go, the different they get. See the three hashtag marks? Or not hashtags, but the lines. That's the date code. They could be different. They could have two on this side, one on this side, three on this side, two on this side. They could be up and down, straight up and down. They could be dots. They could be uh, Roman numerals. They could be a letter. I mean, a letter with Roman numerals, a letter with slashes. They could be all kinds of things. But I've got this covered up because it's actually got my name on it. I didn't get my name put on it 
But I found this at a flea market. This one has been used. I used this one. Uh, I seen it in one of those rotisserie like things where they uh, put stuff like jewelry is in a jewelry store at Walmart or something like that. One of those stand up glass cases where the stuff spins around. And I seen it and I was like, okay, play it cool, play it cool. It's got your name on it. Play it cool. So I asked the guy, I was like, uh, what do you want for it, Zippo? He said, 10 bucks. I was like, what? It's got somebody's name on it. He said, well, what are you giving me for it? I said, five bucks. Okay. And then I told him, well, this just happens to be my name. Oh, you should have given me the 10 then. He's like, well, you're not the one that asked me if it wasn't my name. But I ended up giving him the 10. <laughs> but yeah. It uh, has my name on it and found it at a flea market. And that is street chrome. You notice here on the edges, it's kind of polished. But the front of it is still that uh, brushed look. I'd like to know where that dent came from and all those little nicks. These things could talk. Uh, this one is a 1970 street chrome. It's in pretty good shape for 1970. This dent happened in, where were we at? Either Raleigh or Charlotte, North Carolina. I dropped it. Dropped it when I was getting out of the car. I've used this one. Uh, like I said, see the date code on this one? It's two straight up and down lines. Kind of hard to see. But it's two straight up and down lines. And that date code is 1970. Uh, I'm not quite sure if this is a Zippo or not. The insides of it are made like a Zippo with the holes. And usually that's pretty common to a Zippo. Uh, Non-Zippos usually have a different uh, style to them. This was my grandfather's. And, as you can see, he used it just a little bit. Not very much, but just a little bit. And there's no flat bottom on it, so you can't set it like a normal Zippo. Well, watch. See, it wouldn't even stand up for me. You can't stand it like a normal Zippo. It'd have to lay down. And there's a chance that some of the fluid would leak out beside the case because it's not air fluid tight. See, there's a gap in it. If you squeeze a little bit, it'd be tight. But, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. And that's Camel. That's from uh, back in the day when they had uh, uh, promotions for Camel cigarettes. Now, down to the cool ones. This is my everyday carry lighter. Those of you that know me know that I am bicentennial crazy. I love bicentennial quarters, bicentennial coins, anything from 1976. This date code is 1976. So this was made in 76. And if you watched a couple video ago, videos ago, you know that I do CB radio as a hobby. And in 1976, the geniuses at Zippo, see like those dings and those nicks? I'd like to know where all those come from. The geniuses over at Zippo made a Zippo that says CB operator with a car and an antenna. Got your ears on good buddy. So this is my everyday, oh look it's not going to light.
my everyday lighter. Usually it lights on the first strike. What's going on? Come on, Zippo. There we go. But yeah, it's pretty uh it's pretty beat up. You can see all the scratches and stuff on it. But uh yeah, I got this off of eBay. I had to have it when I said it was a 1976 and it had something to do with CBs. I got it and its little sister. This is what they call a slim. And it is also from 1976. This one's not in as good a shape as the other one. And it doesn't even have a flint in it. I've never used this one, but it has been used. You can tell it's been used quite a bit. Uh, but yeah, see, this one was actually painted. It had a white car with a black tire and a black antenna. And I think that the paint was black in the CB operator. But it's the same as this one. Just the slim version. That's what they call it, slim. So that's my everyday carry. Now this one is the pride and joy of my collection. This is the one that I was given for Father's Day. Where in the world did that blue stuff come from? This is my everyday carry. It's a 2021. That was custom made for me. Uh, by my wife and kids. They ordered it from Zippo. Personalized. Uh, obviously, you know I do YouTube. Because that's where you're watching me. This is... You cannot get anything copyrighted on a Zippo. Not even if you own the company, you can't get something. Well, yeah, 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 wait a minute. You have to own the company to get it put on the put on a Zippo. And since we don't own YouTube, wish we did, we couldn't get, they couldn't get YouTube put on the Zippo. But they've done the next best thing. They also got denied to put the play button logo, you know, the kind of squarish oval shape with the white arrow in it. Couldn't even get that. But what they could do is that. That's red, not orange. I don't know why it's showing up orange. Tiny numismatics with what looks like a YouTube play button. Flat black, 2021. With what looks like the Google Play, Google play button. Well, Google owns YouTube, so with the YouTube play button on it. I thought that was pretty cool and a very... Uh, very cool gift for Father's Day. Customized, made in the USA. Congratulations, you're the owner of an authentic Zippo windproof lighter. Come on. What? Windproof lighter customized just for you. Zippo.com. This one will never be used. People are saying, well, you ought, you ought to use it. You ought to use it. And I'm like, no, not going to use it. And this is what the new box looks like. It's black on the bottom instead of the brass or copper color. And it's got the different logo on it. So... I hope you guys like this long-winded video. I uh, hope I didn't bore you too much. I know half of you won't even uh, watch it to the end. But that's okay. Because I still love you. Even though you're not hearing me say I love you. I still love you. 
You guys uh, stay safe and healthy, and I love each and every one of you. I hope that uh, you guys are ready for the next uh, next things that are coming up. It uh, it's going to be live stream time for me. I'm going to be doing live streams. I don't know what day yet. I will announce it once I figure it out. I'll have guests on there. Uh, I'm just going to do a like a hangout type live stream. Come in, hang out. There might be an auction every once in a while. Not like a weekly thing. I don't want to take away from the other auctions that are out there. Uh, not saying that I would take away from the other auctions, but there's there's more people out there that do that do auctions, and I don't want to step on any toes or anything like that. So I'll do one every once in a while, but I'll never do one on the day that somebody else is uh, doing one that I know about. I'm sure I want to do one on days that uh, people are doing them, but not the family members. I'll never do an auction on the day that uh, family members are doing it uh, for sure. But uh, I'll let you guys know. Like I said, I love each and every one of you, and I mean that. I th I'm thankful for uh, everything you guys have done for this family and uh, everything you guys are going to do for this family. I uh, I really, really appreciate it. We, uh, we know we're blessed, and uh, we never take that for granted. I'm sorry. <clears throat> almost passed out there okay you guys have a good one have a good day hope uh your guys' week is good and uh all your hunts and searches and coins are fruitful you guys don't forget to check out pocket change because you never know what you got in your pocket until you look unless it's a zippo and then you know what's in your pocket